464. Which bond in each of the following pairs of bonds is the strongest? Okay, so is a C single bond N stronger or a C single bond O stronger? Well, in this type of question, we really got to get down to what is the difference between these two types of bonds? Well, if I actually look at the bond, it's a single bond versus a single bond. And that's no difference, right? They both share two electrons. The carbons aren't different because they both have a carbon on one end of the bond. But the only difference here is that one is bound to a nitrogen and the other one is bound to an oxygen. That's going to make all the difference in determining which one is the strongest one. Well, if you're debating between two different atoms, the idea here is that strongest bond always goes with the shortest bond. So S goes with S. And if you think about it in terms of like a relationship, right? If you have a really, really, really tight, strong bond and it's tight, right? There's no room to get through. It's going to take a lot of effort to break that bond. And if it's super tight, it's super short. So the shortest bond is always going to be the, the best and strongest bond in, in chemistry as well between the two elements. So we just have to find out, well, which one is going to be shorter? Well, that has to do with atomic radius and how big these atoms or small these atoms are. But before I get into that, I'm just going to say that, okay, since we're dealing with carbon, that's arbitrary, right? We're just going to say that carbon is going to be this shape. Okay, cool. So here's carbon and here's carbon. Now, when you're talking about bonds, right, generally speaking, it's from the center to the center of the other atom. But let's just see how we're going to draw nitrogen and oxygen. Well, as we go from left to right, through a period, your atomic radius is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And if we just put these three um, elements into perspective, carbon comes first, then nitrogen, and then oxygen. They're in the same period, so you don't even have to worry about your groups. So that means that as you're going from left to right, that, that uh, radius should be dropping. So if carbon is the biggest, nitrogen should be a little smaller, Oxygen should be a little smaller, and then fluorine, who's next, should be very, very, very small. So the way that I drew this carbon, this should be the biggest circle. So if I'm going to draw nitrogen, it's just got to be maybe a little bit smaller. And then if I draw oxygen, that has to be smaller as well. So here's N, and here's O. Now, from center to center... Let's see, and center to center. Let's see if I actually did this right. They look actually pretty similar to me, but the, the thing here is that maybe I should have, just to emphasize this, maybe we'll make nitrogen a little bit bigger and pull it away a little bit because generally the, the spacing between the carbon and nitrogen should roughly be the same. So if we draw... This should come out better. So if we draw C to N versus C to O, let's see. If I take this and throw it over, ah, there it is. It's a little bit smaller. So maybe if we just make this a little bit better, we're going to bring the oxygen a little bit in. Just to show you the idea here. But in this case, a smaller bond comes from a smaller radius and that's why the CO bond is smaller than the CN bond because oxygen is smaller. Smaller radius, larger radius. So if you have a larger radius, that means you have a longer bond. That's not strong. Smaller radius, shorter bond, strongest. So all the S's go together. So in this case, your, your strongest bond would be the C, whoop, single bond O. And that is your final answer. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day. Keep studying hard. I believe in you guys. Good luck on those tests and quizzes. Not just in chem, but in physics, math, you know, world language. Uh, history, right? Whatever you're taking. Um, 
good luck to you, okay? I'll talk to you soon and have a great day. Bye-bye.